Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, you'll learn how to use sessions in a custom Alexa skill. And we're going to be using a template from Dabble Lab. So we want to start out by going to dabblelab.com and then finding the templates menu up here. And then from the templates menu, we're going to be using this one right here, the template number four, which is the Alexa session attribute skill template. So you just want to click on that and uh, the, the templates are free and all you need is an account and you can get one by just clicking this need an account down here and signing up. But once you've done that, just log in. There's no um, credit card or anything like that required. And when you log in, the all of the uh, the skill templates uh, have a tutorial video. That's what you're watching right now and the source code that you can download here. And then we, we just added this. You can also ask uh, questions down here if you run into any issues as you're going through this. But the, um, the download, the source code, the templates, we're gonna wanna download that. The templates can be used with the Ask CLI and we've recently updated them so that they can also be used with Alexa hosted skills. And that's what I'm gonna show you today because that's kind of the lowest common denominator. But once you download the um, the, the template code, they, they're all downloaded as a, a zip package. So you just want to unzip it. And the source code that we need is going to be in this folder here. And we're going to need for this template, we're going to need the, um, this here, the uh, en-us.json. And then also we're going to need this index.js here. But before we get into that, we're gonna head over to developer.amazon.com and log in if you have an account. Um, just go ahead and log in. If you don't have an account, create an account. Those are free also. Uh, once you have logged in, we're gonna go over to the Alexa console. So click on um, Alexa and then up here, if you click the little ellipse menu here and find this right here, the Alexa developer console. And go there and this is where you will see your list of skills if you have skills already if you don't this is where we're going to go to create one and so we're going to do that by clicking create skill and we're going to call this uh, demo skill and it's custom skill that's uh, alexa hosted and it's node.js right now all of the templates are node.js we'll add some um, python ones at, at some point but now they're all node.js and then create a skill and creating a, uh, a hosted skill takes about a minute because it sets up the uh, the Lambda backend and all of that stuff for you. So while that is um, churning, we'll go over here and talk about what we're gonna need to set the skill up. Again, we're gonna need this, the interaction model, and then we're gonna need this code down here. We can go ahead and um, copy this first so we'll, we want to open that up in a text editor so we'll go open with i'm going to use visual studio code but any text editor would work so text editor notepad or whatever you use uh, open with visual studio code and then we want to select um, all of the text in the file and copy it and then head back over to the developer console and now our hosted skill is done being set up so we can start modifying it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the JSON editor here, and then we're gonna replace all of this with the interaction model that was included in the template. And we can either like select it all and paste in the, um, the, the code that we just copied, or you could also, if you wanted to, just drag the code in like this. So drag and drop it here. Um, and one point in here, the invocation name, this is important. So this is the name that's gonna be used to start the skill up or open the skill up. Um, by default, we just name them whatever number the uh, template is. Uh, so in this case, uh, template four. I'm gonna leave that for our, for our demo. I'm not gonna do anything, but if you were gonna use this template for a, uh, an actual skill, of course, you'd wanna change that. So then you just do save and then build the model. And this model build is gonna take uh, a minute. So we'll go back over to our source code while that's happening and go down here to our index.js file. We wanna open that up again with our code editor. And um, same thing, we're gonna select all of that and copy it. And then uh, we're gonna head back over to the developer console and go to the code tab 
and then we're going to replace all of the code in index.js which is open by default so we want to select all of that and paste over it with the um, the code that we copied from the template and then we're going to save that and we're going to deploy that and when that's finished deploying we'll be ready to test but um, while that's uh, working let me just talk about what's going on here real quickly in this template so this is this template is mostly just for learning how to use the um, how to set session variables that can be used in an alexa skill and so it's really simple what's going on is when the skill is launched you uh, get prompted for your name um, hello there what's your name and then when you say your name, uh, we the skill saves that as a um, as a session variable and uh, session value. And session values can be used while the skill is in session, meaning that when the skill um, closes and or stops and you uh, open it up again, that information is going to be gone. So it's not being persisted to any backend database or anything like that so that it uh, would be there the next time they open the skill up. We cover that in uh, other tutorials and, and uh, other templates, but for this template, it's just during the session. And so the example saves the name to the session and then um, retrieves that down here uh, in this say name intent handler, this line here, um, where is it? Here it is, uh, line 55. So you can see it's pulling the attributes.name value and that's getting that from the session, which is set um, up here. So this line 35 sets it, and then line 55 um, uses it. So let's test it out. We'll go to the test menu here and enable testing for development. And the remember the invocation name for this is called um, template four. So we should be able to just invoke it by using the invocation name like that. Hello there. What's your name? And I'll say Steve. Hello, Steve. I saved your name as a session attribute. Ask me your name to make sure I have it. And I'll say, what's my name? Your name is Steve. And so that's it. Uh, really simple. That demos how the, um, the, the session skill template works. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, again, you can leave those uh, just under the video here and we'll respond just as quickly as possible. Thanks so much for watching.